Okay, welcome back to the next episode of Divinity Original Sin Honor Mode. Let's heal this dude up. I like you much better with your guts on the floor. Oi, the salt dude. Santa. Nice to see these winds are blowing more than bloody orcs our way. Well, we legionnaires are loyal servants to Captain Arius and the Council of Seven. Been stationed in Sicil for more than a year now with no end in sight. Bloody orcs are at it again. Beats me what on earth they want in Sicil. This is their second attack within as many weeks and their second defeat. That rat faced shaman of theirs even went to the trouble of launching a fireball at a ship in the harbor to the west of here. They may need help. I would go myself, but we legionnaires are under strict orders never to abandon our posts. Never know when another one of these little raiders might sidle up the beach. Beats me what traitorous madness came over that dog. A man among orcs. It'll be like one of your kind running with a sorcerer. Whatever the Kerr's incentive to raise swords alongside that murderous lot, let's all hope it was a private grudge. Could you imagine if we had to add a slew of wild-eyed orc-loving bedlamites to our list of enemies in Sicile? Strengths. Give her another intelligence. than a dozen tomcats fighting over the world's last mackerel. Ah, but I see we've suffered another orc landing. And judging by the relative ease with which it was dispatched, I can only come to one conclusion. Source hunters have arrived in Sicil. You're as welcome as a glass of cooled milk on a hot day, my friend. I'm Ahu, at your service. It was I who requested your presence in this troubled city. Meow. Yeah. So you were, and so you weren't. Behold! Meow. There we are. Meet my other half, Hunter. <laughs> Meow. <laughs> <laughs> no need to look so flabbergasted. I may be a wizard rife with tricks and guile, but I assure you my plea is an earnest one. So, now that the cat is out of the bag, let us turn to the matter of Councillor Jake's murder. It's hard to put my finger on it, but I can feel in my very whiskers that sorcery was at play. Visit the scene of the crime, and I bet sardines for salad you'll say the same. Captain Aureus, though, the local commander of the Legion, insists I'm seeing ghosts. I insist he's blind to all but the undead. Jake was murdered in a downstairs room of the King Crab Inn, up in Sicil proper. The Legion keeps it under lock and key, though, so you'll need Aureus's permission, should you want to have a peek. So there are. Or rather, there is. Popular opinion has it his wife did the deed. But to be frank, I have my doubts. She seems a likely candidate, to be sure, but that would make her a sorceress. Esmeralda knows how to charm, yes, but I just don't see her magic extend beyond a frolicsome look and wink. Still, don't simply take my word for it, Hunter. 
It may be well worth your while to cross-examine her yourself. The Legion has her under guard in her shop near the town square. That's where you'll find poor Jake's widow. A human, you say? Truly? But that would be like a kitten leading a wolf pack. And yet, I have heard rumors about a sect of sorts, a shadowy set of worshippers that associate even with orcs. Some say they're sorcerers, but people will say that about anyone who behaves a bit strangely nowadays. I don't quite know what to make of this news, but thank you for informing me. It'd be foolish to dismiss such a curious event out of hand. Ah, the undead. They've been clawing their way out of the ground for two years now. And for two years, the stalemate between them and the living has been dragging on at a weary pace indeed. The Legion did a good job keeping them at bay. Legion. But I think it's fair to say that without my magic-infused ballastay, they'd have gotten the better of us by now. Someone is responsible for the outbreak. Necromancers are at work, but who are they and where do they hide? Alas, that searching for them is like searching for a single louse in a lion's mane. Unfortunately, that is absolutely correct. The orc siege is yet another hairball stuck in this city's already choking throat, and it shows no signs of abating. We've cordoned off the western beach where most orc activity has been reported. For the nine lives of me, I can't seem to figure what they're doing here. There's nothing of interest along the waterfront. Except for a set of caves with an unfavorable reputation. Maybe they're after some pirate's treasure, the fools. <laughs> oh, but that's not a trick. It's a blessing. Or does it surprise you that I enjoy taking a feline guise? Such magic is a gift hunter. To tread upon the realm of instinct. Even articulate speech. Perhaps humanity's greatest asset cannot give expression to something so inextricably innate. To be out in the night, to stalk on silent paws and hunt with only the moon as your witness. You couldn't possibly imagine the thrill. But of course, it's handy to speak in more than meows. And I couldn't brew potions or make machines without opposable thumbs. This I freely admit. Let's just say I have found a way to enjoy the best of two worlds. I'm glad we've met Source Hunter. And I'm certain we have a lot more to talk about. Feel free to visit me whenever you want. I've set up a workshop in the Legion's headquarters. Once you're there, just take the stairs. But do pay a visit to Aureus first. He may bark like a beagle with its tail stuck in the door, but you won't get very far in your investigation without speaking to the de facto leader of Saisi. And with that, I bid you adieu, Hunter. Adieu and good luck. May your enemies prove to be mere mice and you the dauntless mouser. Sects undead. Orcs, looks like we have our work cut out for us. At least we won't be bored. How about we go see that Aureus chap while he's out? Aureus. Nine inch nails. We'll have none of that. You hear? What if the orcs ascended? That doesn't belong to us, you know. We're source hunters. We should be able to access any of the resources we need or want while we're on the job. Well put. Hunting out source is no easy job, and we need all the help. Oh, she's low. 
Hold on, I can do a rain spell. Warriors in Rivalon can't cross a rope. Don't think I have a teleport away yet. Fate was sealed when the arch shaman set his fiery gaze on her sails. But you managed to rescue her from a watery grave. Closest thing to a miracle I've ever seen. Look at the bubble bank. Source here inside seal. Bah! Of all the cursed hunks of rock to land on, Conrad chooses this and a ship's got a soul too, you know. You did a mighty fine thing saving that barge. For those of us raised in crews instead of families, it's kin to saving a fellow man. Madness! Thought we were done with those swampy uglies a fortnight ago. Note, though, that none of them dared to come close to the tide splitter. Don't forget the top sauce. Here in Sicil. That was some false back madness. Thought we would. Don't forget the time he got caught passing a love note to the lizard counselor's wife. That's why we never sailed against the Zorak Shore. <laughs> Speaking of youthful gore, that loopy legionnaire is yours. Here. I would let him. Ahoy, my... sailor! Are you enjoying the fresh winds of Sicil? Just a little cage for the joy of eyes. <laughs> no, he didn't. He drove it straight to the bubble bank. Oh, and don't forget the time he got caught passing a love note to the Lizard Council's wife. Is that why we never sailed against the floor anymore? <laughs> Speaking of youthful gore, that loopy legionnaire really thinks that orky charm loves him. I wouldn't let it all within 500 yards of my loving nature. Psst. Ever hear about the time the captain took the Duchess of Federal's cage for the joy of eyes? Oh, he did. He drove it straight to the bubble bank. Oh, and don't forget the time he got caught passing a love note to the lizard counselor's wife. Is that why we never sailed the Yusuf Gore anymore? <laughs> Speaking of youthful gore, that loopy legionnaire really. Just saw some mighty garbage to him. I would let it all within 500 yards of my loving nature. Ever hear about the time the captain took the Duchess of Federal's carriage for the joy ride? Ha! No, he did. He drove it straight to the pub and back. Oh, and don't forget the time he got caught passing a love note to the Lizard Counselor's wife. Is that why we never sailed the Yusuf Gore anymore? <laughs> Good find the boys, so I can't hear those guys. Livelihood. All sunk in a matter of minutes while we could do naught but look on. Well, we were merchants what seemed like a moment ago. With our ship sunk, we're little more than three men with nothing more to say than boo. Ah, these bleeding orcs. They can't keep off this place for the life of them. They came in here slinging fireballs and swinging swords. Wasn't a thing we could do to defend ourselves. With our ship gone, nothing for it but to get a job. Slim pickings round here, that's for sure. That was a right stunning show of magic you pulled, it was. Wish you'd been around when our own barge went down in flames. Have you found us a job yet? What? Well, we were merchant, these bleed. Well, that was a right. 
Have you found us a job yet? Well, what he's dead. Well, you never know. That was a right. <laughs> I like how the same, same dialogue, but different voice actors. It's pretty funny. Employment. Talk to or who? Talk to Arius. More orcs. Investigate the murder. Waypoint discovered. I used to see orcs in every shack. Mm. Like the one mod I should probably inst I would should install is like the chatter. It's too far too much chatter. The pizza run over again. I was really hoping to find something better. Green fishing rod. More junk. These gates are will be a little red imp's uncle, the source hunter. Sorry for the you can see security's tighter than ever around here since that surprise attack the orcs put on a fortnight ago. They did enough damage to shake up Ahu and Captain Aurea something fierce. We can only hope to hold back the undead and these left field orc attacks long enough for reinforcements to arrive. I don't think you're quite ready to head out into the wilds to me. Also, a party of one or two runs the risk of being outflanked and outnumbered. I'd bring some backup if I were you. Of course, the choice is yours, but are you sure you want to venture out? Thank you for heeding my words. If you are taking to the sea, 
live to put enough strength to lift barrels. All hail the rains that I thought it. I don't know how you did that. Please turn your phrases elsewhere. Salutations! Source hunters, I see. I'm Sergeant Curtis, proud protector of this house of Legion goods. Curtis is my name, the Legion is my calling. This is a storing house for Legion supplies. Perhaps the most important building in the realm, by my and others' estimation. And I, Sergeant Curtius, have been trusted to guard it. Well, a source hunter. A very hearty welcome to our humble warehouse. Have a look around. And don't mind if I pick your brain about the scoop around Undervale. I'm behind on my current affairs. I tell you. This gig sure beats getting my toes bitten off by zombies out in the field. <laughs> we warehouse guards don't have to do much apart from stroll the perimeter a few times an hour. And of course, every now and again, some friendly folks like yourself will wander through here. And nothing beats a pleasant conversation, though my comrade Horatius has quite different opinions on that matter. Have you talked to him? <laughs> this Jake business is quite then again, and you didn't hear this from me. He's going through quite the nasty divorce himself. And there's his children to consider. But I imagine his youngest, Kimberly, won't mind, never did get on well with her mother ever since the incident. Oh, it's an unpar... Back again? This, then again? But, uh, oh, back again? I tell you. And, of course, every now and again, some friendly folk. Have you talked to him? <laughs> Thinks every man, woman, and child who steps foot in this place wants to rob it blind. If I so much as greet a townsperson with a hello instead of a state your purpose, he starts frothing on and on about godly duty and security breaches. This Jake then again. Oh, it's a. Keep your pleasantries to yourself. If it's conversation you're looking for, I'd reckon. As for myself, my job is to protect this warehouse, not chit chat with intruders. Salutations! So this is a store. Curtius is my name. Keep your pleasantries to yourself. What you do? That idiot man child would sooner spend an hour chatting up a thief than a minute arresting him. I only hope he gets trapped. Nah, even think. Salutations! So Back again? Got that? Fussbonson? <laughs> what? Well, who loose lips will let that lowly backbiter know what he thinks about that? So, something you'd like to say to my face? I haven't a thing to say. Desist, to Prowler. None shall pass through this door. My guarding of this door has been more steadfast than the coming of the tides. Nothing can make me back down from my duty. Desist, Prowler. My guarding of this door has been more steadfast than the coming of the tides. Nothing can make me back down from my duty. I'd be a fool to suspect a source hunter of petty <laughs> theft. Have a look around then, friend. Uh Will you please turn your phrases elsewhere? Report? I still nothing, sir. Why did I not show If the word steeds, why would we be guarding this place? Think! Makes sense, sir. Okay. 
kinds of crazy stuff in here. Maybe the lock can be jimmied. Report! Hmm. Uh, nothing to report, sir. You'll never have anything to report. Isn't that a good thing? Bucket. Come on, Duke is not so bad, eh? Would be quite a bit better if I could do it in peace. Just make a conversation. Bit. This place Mate. reeks of all. Up the plate. Ooh, that's actually worth a lot of money. <laughs> He's gonna come into the room and like find like another piece of trash. Find like everything stolen. He'll be like, I wonder who did it. Desist, Prowler. None shall blow away from there, you pilferer. Good. But do this is a storing house for Legion supply. I got a bucket on my head, even on the game. That's pretty cool. Of 
too long. Post this out. The Cecil's borders have shrunk considerably in modern times. Ours was once an expansive kingdom of economic and strategic importance of the region of Evandale. Unembroiled in external politics, Cecil was free to expand from sea to sea to the borders of Lucia Forest, where the legendary mysterious magicians are said to reside. Why then did Cecil fall? First trade. As old kingdoms grew, Cecil ports became less central to trading routes. But most importantly, Cecil's history of a small and homogeneous population meant that its culture importance faded as the more diverse nations grew. Capitals that featured Elvish musicians and Dwarf Mead thrived, while Cecil's trade stagnated. Still, Cecil sees a significant cultural importance, the home of the home of the last source king. The catacombs of Cecil are famed for their beauty and supposed pre pre maternal pre-natural activities in recent times. The leaders of Cecil are seeking to reinvigorate her economy. Fertile farmlands are being utilized at full capacity by the incentivized sales of lands to experienced farmers. Its future shines bright indeed. Uh -huh. This place reeks of all stench. Whole bunch of junk. Ah, who better than a proven orc crusher to convince my dumbbell of a friend here that orcs are predators, not pets? Enough of that. I know how dangerous an orc can be, but this one has been reformed. Anyone can see that she's completely docile. But my prejudiced friend here still wants to kill her. Maybe before the great orc raid we had time to indulge Niniush's idiotic obsessions. But now we're needed at our posts. I can hardly believe I've been wasting time protecting an orc when I should be running them through. Excuse my friend's violent outbursts. He hasn't enjoyed a woman's touch in quite some time now. It makes him a bit... Edgy. Your woman's touch is less of a loving caress and more of a claw shanked brutally through the throat. I'll take my chances as a bachelor, thanks. My friend here and I were patrolling outside the city walls when who did I see creeping along the shore but this lovely orcish lady. For a brief second, as, well, as long as eternity, locked eyes. Perhaps confused by the butterflies in her stomach, she sprang up and began running, claws bared towards Marius. Fortunately for him, I had the presence of mind to ignore my sword and instead adroitly fling my pouch of trinkets towards her. A vial of love potion shattered over her head and when she turned to face me, she became instantly enamoured. I'm sure she must have been compelled to join the Orcish army at some kind of Duress! A lady with such a sweetly savage manner would never willingly join up with those vicious marauders. Ha! I can assure you there wasn't a hint of sweetness in those murderous eyes when she lunged at my throat. She may be confined here for now, but who's telling when she'll escape and who she'll rip to shreds? Ah, I've always had an amateur interest in all things alchemical. When I read in an esteemed periodical from the Wizards of Youthful Gore about an amazing opportunity that could change my life, I had to act fast or lose the once-in-a-lifetime deal. I sent away for the world-famous love potion, available for a limited time only, and it has worked exactly as promised. You see what a fool my friend has been, spending all his cash on snake oil and bringing a temporarily tranquilized monster into our midst to boot. What kind of monster would lie in a published advertisement? I'm sure the effects of the potion will be everlasting, as printed. You see? He'd believe it was noon at midnight if he read it on a printed pamphlet. Please tell me you can reason with him, or ditch reason and use your sword to shave him from his murderous darling. <laughs> She's got to be put down. 
If this love potion is as dodgy as it sounds, she could come to her vicious senses at any time. Agreed. I Glad to hear I'm not the only one with common sense around here. I'll do the honors myself. No! She's harmless! Please! You bastard! You had no right! No right to protect not only you from your own stupidity, but myself and the citizens of Sicil as well. It's you we need protection from, murderer. Fortunately, the wizards of youthful gore make a revenge elixir that will show you what's what. This place reeks of all stench. Go ahead and throw stench. your sugar water on me if you like. Your foolishness is no longer my problem. Thank you, stranger. If you ever need help, I'll do my best to repay you. Sorry, dude. I can. Still is garbage. Repair hammer. Okay, well, that's a good stuff for the episode. Thanks for watching. See you next time.